Hi, Dave Jones from the EEV blog here. I thought I'd do a quick little video comparing the rendering speed of the new Sony Movie Studio Platinum 12 uh, program to version 11, Sony Vegas 11, which uh, I've been using up until now for all of my uh, video blog work. I am a full-time professional video blogger and Sony Vegas is the main program that I use to edit all of my videos every day, so I'm fairly familiar with it. I thought um, this new version, uh, version 12, uh, claims to have, well, it's a 64-bit version. You can download 32-bit or 64-bit version, and um, uh, that claims to uh, drastically um, increase your rendering speed, and it supports uh, video cards for GPU rendering and uh, stuff like that, whereas the previous version 11, is only 32 bits. Now, I've got both of them set up here. Uh, please excuse the small screen. I am capturing this in 1280 by 720, so I've resized the screens to fit. And I've loaded the same project, one of my videos. It's a 30 minute uh, video. So if we scroll along the timeline here, we can see it's, uh, it is a 32 minute uh, video. I won't render the whole thing. I just want to uh, do a quick test to compare the rendering speed 32 bit. So if we go into version 11 here, um, no, I just don't wish to search for a missing file. Uh, the, they've changed the name. It used to be called Vegas, Sony Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum 11. It is now called, here's the new one, it's now called just Sony Movio Studio Platinum 12. So they've removed uh, the Vegas name from it. Go figure. Now, I've only just downloaded and installed this, so I haven't played with it at all. I haven't looked at what uh, features are new or anything like that. Um, I'm not sure if there are any uh, major changes apart from the 64-bit uh, version, but all I care about is the rendering speed. So, um, I'm not sure of the uh, user interface differences. You can see them here. This is version 11, and get a good look at that. And this is version 12, and it looks and operates very similar, there's just slight uh, differences. I've dragged and dropped the windows, uh, it's resized the various uh, panels in different ways, but it seems to, uh, uh, you know, look and work identically. It loaded in my uh, version 11 project uh, file, no problems whatsoever. So let's go into Make Movie, and this is version 12. Actually, we'll go into version 11 first. Make Movie, save to my hard drive, and I've got my template here. I'll use um, my existing template, which is um, using the Sony uh, AVC uh, encoder, and I've got it uh, set for 1440 by 1080, 25p at 8 megabits per second, uh, fixed rate with an aspect ratio of 1.333, and uh, 192k bits, uh, 48 kilohertz, 32-bit AAC, Audio uh, 169. So we'll just call that EEV Blog 340 test. And what I want to do is I'm going to use a uh, stopwatch to time the first 1,000 frames. So that should give us a good idea how long it takes to encode. So let's render that. And I start my stopwatch, and you see the frame counter going up just there like that. And uh, I'll time that when it gets to 1,000. Okay, that took smack on 60 seconds there. So, um, nice even number for 1,000 frames at uh, 1440 by 1080, uh, 25p um, using the Sony codec. So let's now go to uh, version 12 here and do exactly the same thing with exactly the same project file, exactly the same source files, everything's the same. It has um, loaded in it's when, when I installed it, looks like it's automatically um, found my existing uh, templates I had and has automatically put them in. Excellent. So we'll choose exactly the same template. So there's definitely no funny business going on there. And we'll render this. Here we go. And that is noticeably quicker. You can see that number is definitely counting up quicker, but we'll wait until we get to 1,000. 
And sure enough, that one only took 40 seconds. So that's a whole 20 seconds quicker over a thousand frames there. And because this is uh, writing encoding at a constant bit rate, uh, the video itself, um, encoding whatever content video, should be exactly the same speed. Transition effects and, you know, other uh, stuff, which I put very few of those in my actual uh, videos. It's pretty much just uh, raw clips uh, joined together, pretty much. I don't do any uh, fancy stuff at all. I try and, as a professional video blogger, I want to spend as little time as possible editing my videos. So, um, you know, I don't add any, add any fancy effects. I don't, uh, I might uh, normalize a bit of the sound here and there in each, uh, in various uh, clips, but that's about all I add to it. So there you go. That is 33% um, quicker. Now, just through using the 64-bit uh, version of this software. Now, if we go into preferences down here, and video, we're supposed to be able to get this GPU acceleration of video processing. And if if it supports your video card, it's supposed to. Um, so I made a way it pop up with, you know, the name of your video card so that you can use the GPU acceleration. But I'm doing this on a um, HP DV7 uh, notebook, which is a fairly high-end um, Intel uh, Core 7 uh, notebook and it does have a proper uh, Radeon uh, graphics card, but um, it doesn't seem to support that. So um, what a bummer! It's well anyway. I still do get a 33% increase in speed, and for me, well, that's worth the $60 I just uh, paid for the upgrade. $60 Australian anyway. Um, so that works. You know, that's a very measurable difference in uh, rendering speed from the software but I do a uh, two-part rendering rendering process and I'll do another video actually uh, explaining that as well so there you go um, the new version 12 platinum is definitely quicker the 64-bit version than version 11 so that alone I think is worth the upgrade I'll go uh, check out what other new features and bug fixes it might have and I will uh, process this video um, using the new version 12 using my standard video production process my standard workflow so I'll um, this will be my first uh, test video and I'll definitely notice if anything goes wrong thanks for watching catch you next time